about eye contact. So when you use eye contact to talk to people, you are about to pay attention, right? You are about to, you know, like delivering your power through your eyes to the people. And then your partners probably can understand what you are talking about. A friend of mine got to ask me the question again right here. I want to speak English, so what should I do? Do we need basically 10,000 vocabularies to speak English? Yeah, we definitely need a lot of vocabularies. But again, to be here, you don't need to remember and you don't need to use a lot of vocabularies. Think about per day. When you come to speak English, you come to communicate, you come to talk things in English. But the point is, you don't actually use 10,000 words per conversation or for one conversation. You don't. You probably are told to speak English, only like, you know, speak to understand each other like that way. This is like the point I want you to understand, all right? So now I'm going to show you like some kind of, uh, you know, uh, good sentences. You don't need to use perfect phrases, but you could come to master some things could be used while speaking English with someone. Right? The most important, I'm going to talk about body language. So body language, as you guys have known already about body language, what is it? And why it is important for, you know, for making communication, especially talk to people. So when you use your body language, hand gesture, all right, body movement, something like that way. So this is, would be attractive points ever. When you talk to someone, you will boost your confidence. Your confidence you know, your confidence would be happening inside and after you become stronger of speaking things, you don't feel nervous anymore. This is the reason that you can maintain your situation much better. Believe me, do this. When you come to speak English, make sure your body language is a text tool or is used to speak, used to, to help you while speaking English. Two, the next thing is about your voice. Uh, yeah, most of, of you probably have heard about the voice. So when you come to speak, you communicate, right? You talk things in English. You are supposed to use your tones, right? Use your voice to talk to people. So that's why some people, they got like lack of expressing voice, all right? They don't work on voice. They actually think like that way. Harry, I want some vocabularies to build my English. But the matter, the most difficult things ever, they probably haven't seen or they haven't, you know, found by themselves is about voice, like less voice. They don't master on voice. They just speak things to the people, but they don't focus on voice, you know, how the voice should be strong to sound or strong to communicate. So when you master your voice, right, become very strong, you work on it day by day. You master it, right? You train yourself to be stronger of saying something much very, like something, you know, attractive so this is it doesn't mean you are you are not going to make something annoying but you are going to build your confidence you're going to lock your eye contact on people you're going to update especially make attractive voice yourself to the people who are watching your video or maybe like talking to you all right so why is extremely ordinary that you could go to master from now all right, for the next thing, eyes contact. This is like the things that I used to tell the people to understand exact thing about eyes contact. So when you use eye contact to talk to people, you are about to pay attention, right? You are about to, you know, like delivering your power through your eyes to the people. And then your partners probably can understand what you are talking about. They definitely know what it's the point could be because you try to focus, pay attention, no matter what. You don't actually move the eyes up and down or left, left or right, something like that. So when you guys become, right, most of you become like nervous, you probably cannot control yourself, especially your eye contact should be circling or circling around, something like that way. So maybe you look upside, you look downside, you look right side, uh, right side, left side, something like that way. You don't feel good. This is like the point. So when you become confident constantly, body language could be strong to help you. Your eyes contact is on the people or on the object and keep talking. This is like how you will work 100% on your confidence, right? Your confidence will be working by doing this. 
So the last point is about could be like fast, you know, facial expression. You could, the way you can look at people so dead on your eyes, or you actually can talk something so happy by yourself. Uh, I'm so happy right now. Or you can smile, use your face to express your feeling. This is the most uh, interesting point ever. The most significant point I want you to do from now, right? And don't actually forget to use your hand, right hand and left hand. Use both of hands together and express something that you really want to show it. So now, let's listen about this one sentence about uh, thing will be in, in difference, right? The first, normal students, they actually come to say, um, like English sentence, I want to speak English because they don't use body language. Think about that way. You lock your body language, you lock hand gesture, you, your eyes contact shouldn't be on the camera, probably on some places. So you can say, uh, I want to speak English because I want to build it uh, something like this. But when you try to use your, your eyes contact, your hand gesture together, body language, right? And also about your voice actually stronger, you drop your jaw when you speak English, and then you got, you will get this one. Today, I love to speak English with you, and I really, right, I really appreciate your attention for being here, you know? I'm so good. I'm so excited to be with you today. All right. I love English because English is very crucial to communicate, to research, to study, right? To, okay, like have self-study and also I can have international friends or I can have international communication with other people. This is because English is extremely, you know, like exist in the world and a lot of English learners, a lot of people Millions of people, they are using English right now. So there are a lot of, or I could say, unlimited benefits that we got from English language. So you could use this now. You can understand me, what I'm speaking now, what I'm explaining things right now to you because you are using English. You are using English right now. I'm speaking English. I'm using some kind of like points to make you, to mark the point, make sure that you could be uh, you know, known to the point or you are interested in the point of what I'm saying right now. Oh my God, I'll talk something good right now. I can understand you. That's why. This is like how you are using English to understand from now. Okay, so hopefully you got it. Again, the most important, you have to communicate effectively. Make sure your body, your body language will be applied in your conversation. Your eyes contact, hand gesture, facial expression, voice, all right? And also, yeah, speaking things, we don't actually rush. We don't rush. When you guys speak fast, rush yourself to speak. And sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes people we will, they will forget what you mean, something like that way. So you have to come slow, express yourself, speak something slowly sometimes. You could come a little faster as you can with the point you don't think it could be important to, to emphasize. But you think this point is very important to emphasize too. You could come slow to say it. I really like to learn English because it's so important for me. I think when I know that point and I can help people all over the world to learn English together. Right, so that's it about the video today. Make sure you like, share, especially any comments drop down below and I will read your comment, especially I can reply your comment to make sure you will get some beneficial ideas, right, to update yourself right now. Speak English, use your voice, use your body language, use your facial expression, I smile like that way, or I don't smile, I look like a meticulous guy, or I am uh, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> hopefully you actually don't judge me by, by my appearance, okay, don't judge me. <laughs> Take a look to the video. Hopefully you will learn something amazing today. Okay, try it out. This is like the good tips ever for, you know, like public speaking skill. I believe so. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. You and me. You and me.